Welcome back to Atlanta's Mercedes-Benz Stadium for a division weekend matchup with the Dallas Cowboys. This is the Atlanta Falcons franchise, and I'm your host, Husker Eurocat. Last week's win in the wild card round over the Buccaneers was very unexpected. The Bucks didn't even seem to do anything right, and <laughs> they got trampled on. This week's division game spells trouble for the Falcons in that Dallas has both a good passing attack as well as an outstanding running attack with Ezekiel Elliott. The key for Atlanta will be getting their running attack established against a very good defensive front. If that doesn't happen, the Falcons could be in trouble as the Cowboys have an excellent secondary that Ryan will need to be successful against. Can that be accomplished? Let's find out as the Cowboys tangle with the Falcons here on the MMC Broadcasting Network. Braxton Berrios is back deep for Atlanta as Greg Zerline gets us underway here in Atlanta. Berrios brings the kick out of the end zone, up the middle, and is stopped just over the 25 at the 26 yard line. Ryan turns the hand off the ball and keeps it and he gets sacked. The only problem is is that J. Ron Curse grabbed a mitt full of mask and that gives uh, the Falcons a first down out at the 31 yard line and up the middle goes Breda past the 35 out to the 38 yard line. Another pass coming up and it, this is completed. Kyle Pitts making the grab at the 43 yard line of the Cowboys and a new set of downs for the Falcons. The handoff goes to Breida and he is caught in the backfield by Keanu Neal. That brings up Second and 11. And around the side goes Breida down to the 25 yard line and a first down and the Falcons are on the march. The Cowboys are definitely having trouble figuring out this pass offense. Another pass completed downfield to Kelvin Ridley inside the five yard line. A first and goal situation, and the Falcons are in their first red zone visit of the afternoon. And Hayden Hurst, a three-yard touchdown pass reception, and that puts the Falcons on the scoreboard with a seven-to-nothing lead. You can see that Curse came in on coverage but Hurst was well on his way into the end zone. Now, Elliott gets stopped at the line of scrimmage. There you see just a sampling of the injuries for the Falcons. That is bound to make an impact on this game down the stretch. And Elliott gets out to the 35 yard line. That brings up third and one. And the give again is to Elliott, and he gets the first down, just breaking this plane of the first down marker. Now from their own 38-yard line. Out of the shotgun, Prescott hits Pollard out of the backfield, and he gets to the 49-yard line. They're going to give him midfield and a first down. They feed him the ball again, and up the middle he goes to the 43, bringing up a second and three. And the give is to Elliott. He gets the first down, carrying it to the 37. Prescott out of the shotgun, drops back to pass, completes it short, finds Pollard out of the backfield, and he gets down inside the 25. Elliott carries the ball over the right side and he's down to the 15. And 
Markham at the 16 yard line, so second and two. And that is a fumble by Prescott, picked up finally by Elliott, but that is gonna drive him back for a third and nine at the 23. Deron Harmon causing that fumble, but the Falcons unable to jump on top of it still have the Cowboys with the ball. Elliott with the catch out of the backfield and all the way down to the 10 yard line. The Cowboys now with a first and 10. They can get a first down just outside the goal line and a spin move by Pollard and he is in the end zone. Touchdown Dallas. What a move. That spin move by Pollard just faked everybody out and he was clear to go into the end zone for the score. A missed extra point leaves the Falcons with a one point lead and just barely getting that away. Ryan floats that out to Love and he is out of bounds for a four yard loss. Now again, Ryan with the pass completes this one to Allison, but only for a six yard gain, bringing up third and eight. Ryan back to pass and completely misses. Allison and the Falcons will have to punt. Dallas now with Prescott in the shotgun throws complete. Michael Gallup catches this one just over the 30 yard line. Second and four. Zeke gets the first down out to the 40 yard line. The Falcons are definitely having a hard time stopping the duo of Elliott and Pollard. And that is another first down. Gallup catching it on the sideline and over the middle, it's complete to Dwight Schultz for first down. That brings us to the end of quarter number one with your score seven to six, Falcons. Prescott back to pass and throws incomplete over the middle. Third and 10, back to pass again and gets the ball to Elliott alone in the middle of the field and that is a first down. Now second and five. Prescott on the move. A little shovel pass to Pollard and he has the first down. No, they're gonna mark him short third and in inches. Prescott bootlegs, throws, complete. Dalton Schultz out in the open field, gets all the way down inside the five yard line. First and goal. The pass over the middle, complete touchdown. Blake Jarwin makes the go ahead touchdown and that makes it 12 to seven. And with a successful extra point, it will be 13 to seven and the Falcons definitely have work to do. The pass coming up for throw long and it's intercepted. Jordan Lewis taking it back all the way to the 30 yard line and out of bounds. The Cowboys are in outstanding position. Ryan just not putting enough arc on that ball and getting it out in front so that Ridley can make the catch and that one is intercepted. Now just inside the 30 yard line. Elliott takes it up the middle and inside the 25 yard line for an eight yard pickup. It's now third and two. The pass is incomplete. And 
the Cowboys are going for it on fourth and two. Elliott with the carry and the leap over the 20, and that is a fumble being taken back by Bruce Irvin. He's at the 15-10-5 touchdown Atlanta. From up here, I really couldn't see the fumble. And yes, that is going to be reviewed as all turnovers are. And this one, it looks as if Elliott was down right there before the ball came out. Actually, the ground caused the fumble. <laughs> so they're going to get the ball back. And it's a first down. Pollard takes it inside the 15. Now on third and two. Prescott out of the shotgun. Throws over the middle. Complete touchdown. Amari Cooper. Cooper released oh so nicely on his slant pattern. And there was absolutely nothing that Duran Harmon could do to get over there to make the play. So 20 to seven is your score. Ryan bootlegs, throws long to a wide open Kyle Pitts. And he's all the way down to the 35 yard line of the Cowboys. Now on second and eight. Ryan back to pass again, throws, and this one is incomplete. Now third and eight. Back to pass again, and overthrows his intended target, Ridley. And that brings out Youngway Koo for a 50-yard field goal, and it's up and good. So with just under six and a half to go, the Cowboys have the lead 20 to 10 and the ball back. Elliott takes it up the middle all the way to the 35 for an eight yard pickup. Prescott is back to pass on second and two and gets sacked. Dante Fowler Jr. with another sack. Now third and seven. Pass. Long downfield and hits incomplete. The Falcons take over from the 24. Breida takes it over the right side. Has a first down out to the 34 yard line and they're not gonna give him the first down. So second and inches and he picks it up anyway. Out to the 40 yard line with that second down carry. Now the pass over the middle, complete to Pitts, is out to the 47. Second and three. And up the middle goes Breida and into Dallas territory for a first down at the 46. Another play. Oh, and that was a beautiful little juke. And Bryce Love takes it all the way down inside the 25 for first down. And that brings us to the two minute warning from the 24. Ryan back to pass, completes it to Pitts. He has the first down inside the 15 yard line. Now from the 13, the pass is complete to Brita, and he powers his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Ryan found his target early and got rid of that ball well before Gregory could make the sack. Brita there on the replay, splitting the defenders, and into the end zone he goes. 20 to 17 is your score and a three and out by Dallas. Gives the ball back to the Falcons and a completion to Pitts 
for a first down out at the 37. Now over the middle, complete to Allison for a short gain. Second and two. Atlanta at least trying to get it in field goal range. And that one is complete, but well short of field goal range. One second left. The clock's going to double zero, a throw into the end zone, and it is incomplete. So the score at halftime remains 20 to 17, Dallas. Lots of scoring here in the first half, and will that remain the same in the second? For now, let's go to Eurocat Baby for a halftime report. Welcome to the Toyota Halftime Report. We'll get you back to the game in a moment. This divisional weekend has already produced some outstanding football action. The winner of this game today will face the number one seeded Arizona Cardinals in the NFC Championship game. Arizona came back from a two touchdown deficit after the first quarter to putting the game away in the fourth quarter as Sam Darnold threw two interceptions that led to Cardinal scores. In the AFC, the Bengals had absolutely no problems putting an end to the Jets' Super Bowl hopes. Cincinnati went into halftime with a 13-3 lead and never looked back. A complete domination of the Jets led to a 32-6 win and a place in the AFC Championship game, where they'll face the winner of the Raiders-Broncos game later today. Here in Atlanta, the Cowboys have a three-point halftime lead, 20-17. The Falcons are having a real hard time stopping Ezekiel Elliott, while the Atlanta running attack is just not getting the job done. Can Matt Ryan stage a come-from-behind win to move on to meet Arizona in the next round of the playoffs? Stay tuned to find out, because we'll be right back with the second half. Welcome back to Atlanta, everyone. The Falcons, behind the arm of Matt Ryan, are hanging with the Cowboys' balanced offensive attack. However, can Ryan keep up the passing attack as the second half unfolds? Dallas has been able to slow down the rushing attack of the Falcons significantly. Has Atlanta made any changes here at the break to improve that part of the game? Let's find out. The Cowboys start out at their own 25-yard line. Prescott back to pass, es escapes being sacked, is all the way out to the 32 and slides down. Third and three. Prescott back to pass, completes this one to Dalton Schultz, and he has the first down out past the 35. On third and 10 from the 38. Prescott back to pass, completes it to Elliott, powering his way almost to a first down, but two yards shy. And that brings on the punting team. You see the numbers on Ryan, just over 50% complete and an interception. So not having the best day, but this one is complete. First down to Matt Breida out of the backfield. Now from the 17, Ryan back to pass, completes this one out of the backfield to Breida, and he goes out of bounds after an eight yard pickup. Third and two, and he picks up the first down. Kyle Pitts needs some medical attention and is on the sideline, seems more upset then he is injured. Out of the shotgun. Ryan throws short to Love and he is tackled at the 34. Second and five. Brita up the middle and he has the first down. Oh, and what a bad spot. They didn't give it to him third and in inches. And this is a first down. Love carrying it to the 41. 
Ryan back to pass, throws over the middle, Gage with the reception to the 49. Second and two. Another pass. This one complete to Ridley, and he's inside the 40-yard line for another Falcon first down. Look out, Neal makes the sack on Ryan. Caleb McGarry just couldn't stop him, and that will bring up third and 18. The pass, short and incomplete. But after a Dallas three and out, it's the Falcons ball again. Ryan back to pass and Gregory gets to him. Takes him down back behind the 35 yard line for a seven yard loss. Ryan takes the snap and is taken down again. This time Demarcus Lawrence with the sack, and now it's third and 27. Back to pass, Ryan short again, and catching it is Allison, but well short of anything meaningful. And the numbers on Prescott, 16 of 24, 139 yards and two touchdowns. Prescott with the snap, gives it off to Elliott. He makes a cut and makes it out past the 30-yard line for a five-yard pickup. Back to pass again and completes this one over the middle to Gallup for the first down. Now third and seven. Back to pass. Prescott with all the time in the world. And finally, he finds Schultz just short of the sticks, a punt, and oh, it goes out of bounds, rolls out inside the one. And rolling to the fourth quarter of play with no score in the third, it's 20 to 17 still. Second and eight. The handoff to Brita he just makes it outside the end zone and falls to the four yard line. Third and six. The throw and a catch by Allison out at the 15 yard line and it's a first down. You're gonna mark it at the 17. Another completion to Allison bringing up a third and three. Ryan back to pass, throws complete to Ridley, out past the 35 yard line and a first down for the Falcons. Ryan out of the shotgun and another pass to Breda this time out past the 40 yard line or a six yard gain. And the Falcons pretty much giving up on the run are passing like crazy. Inside Cowboy territory at the 48 now. Ryan with all day to throw unloads and it's intercepted downfield by Malik Hooker. I would have thought that Ryan would have put a little bit more loft on that pass. Because if you take a look at hit here, it just didn't have very much at all. With his arm strength, he's able to th throw a, a 30, 40 yard dart. But sometimes it's just not necessary. Elliott up the middle for an eight yard gain. Third and two. Prescott with the play action, a completion, and out of bounds, a first down by Schultz. Pollard on the carry, takes it out past the 30-yard line, and that is going to be a five-yard pickup. Prescott throws, and that is broken up 
by Dante Fowler. Now the Falcons starting at the 26 yard line. Complete and out of bounds to Pitts at the 34, a four yard pickup. Third and six. Back to pass, Ryan throws over the middle, complete to Gage. First down, Falcons on his third reception of the ball game. Now after a holding penalty, the throw is complete to Brita. He gets out to the 44. So that brings up third and 14. Back to pass, throwing, oh no, it's dropped by Pitts, and that is a punt. Now inside five minutes to go in the game. Handoff to Pollard, out to the 38, 39, and they gave him the first down, out to the 31. And with a play action pass, down goes Prescott. Barnett making his first sack of the afternoon. Now Prescott back to throw, completes this one. No, it's not a completion. And the Cowboys are going to have to punt. However, the Falcons go three and out. That gives the Cowboys the ball back on the 15. Pollard takes it through the middle and is out to the 22. Second and three. And he's very close to the first down marker and they give it to him. We're getting a heavy dose of Pollard. I wonder if something has happened to Elliott. And Sheffield makes the play on Pollard, and that brings us to the two-minute warning. The Cowboys have it third and nine. And this is another carry by Pollard out to the 29, and they don't get to the first down. Now, the Falcons are out of timeouts at this point. So after the punt, there's a minute 15 left on the clock. The pass is almost intercepted by Dallas. I would suspect an awful lot of passing going on now. Ryan goes back to pass and is taken down. That was Neville Gallimore taking him down for an eight yard loss. The pass complete to Pitts. Out past the 30 yard line, but it brings up a fourth and six. And the moon ball is over the top of Calvin Ridley. And the ball goes back to Dallas. That very well could be the end of the football game. Dallas is in the victory formation. And yes, that is all. And that, my friends, is the end of the Falcons' season with Dallas going on to the championship game with a victory here today, 20-17. to Matt Ryan looking back at the field and just doesn't understand what happened here in the second half. It would seem that each team figured out the other's game plan. Although each team did a decent job of moving the football in the second half, neither team had the upper hand enough to get the ball close enough for a, even a field goal, much less getting it into the end zone. Thus, a scoreless second half. Atlanta was only able to run for 14 yards in the second half. So solving the issue of the overwhelming Dallas D-line uh, just didn't happen <laughs> at all. Unfortunately, the Falcons' defense wasn't able to create the turnovers that could have made a real difference in this game. 
Ryan put the ball in the air almost 50 times, and that is a recipe for Falcon success. He was so close on that last throw downfield to Calvin Ridley, and if they could have connected, it really could have been a game changer since that would have put them in field goal range at the least. Regrettably, that ends the Falcons' Super Bowl run. So up next will be the results of the rest of the playoffs, Pro Bowl roster, and the 2020 offseason. But I just have to acknowledge that this was a great season for Atlanta. The way that it started out, 1-5, and five, uh, this could have been really bad. They went a lot further than I ever thought was possible. The only thing that will be a problem for the staff is that they have some real needs and they're not going to have a very good advantage going into the NFL draft this season. They may need to do some fancy trading and moving up in the order in order to get where they need to be. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of the Atlanta Falcons franchise on the MMC Broadcasting Network. The Falcons gave it their best shot this season, but came up short against an obviously superior team. I know that the Falcons had a laundry list of players that were injured going into the playoffs. Maybe next season they won't be in that position, and we can see what happens with a team that is at full strength. Now let's find out how the rest of the playoffs go and how the Falcons address filling some serious holes and can it be done in just one offseason. Until then, for Eurocat Baby and the rest of the crew, this is Husker Eurocat saying so long for now and have a good day, everyone. <laughs>